My name is Dennis Bieler from Lightspeed Media. We have a really cool project called the Last Shuttle Project. Um, this is for OWC TV. We're a group of professional photographers and cinematographers who have all come together to help tell the story of the end of the space shuttle era. We're documenting the end of the space shuttle program, and though they've had the last launch and landing, and a lot of people think it's over, we're actually documenting it up until when the uh, shells get delivered to their museums. At the last launch, we had 15 people involved, so we have a core group of about five. I was the one that came up with the uh, concept, so it's kind of like my baby, so to speak. I'm also a photographer and cinematographer and a VR specialist, creating 360 environments. So I just formed this project, uh, just covering a discovery and shooting some of the interiors. So after we got involved with setting up time-lapse cameras and shooting, and next thing I know is we're covering all three shuttles, and then we're covering their going to the museum. So we just kept getting bigger. One of the photographers got to go into the shuttle three hours after it landed. So, you know, amazing to have that type of access. So we've been really blessed that NASA's been so cooperative with us. And now that the program is over as far as the shuttles themselves, and now they're going through a decommissioning, we're trying to interview all the people who worked on the shuttles themselves when the program was more active. You guys are great. You said, well, we'd like to help you out. We'd like to be involved. So you came on board with, uh, with the hard drives. And you can never have enough hard drives. We have, just in time lapse alone, over 500 hours of footage. We have about 80 hours of general content and then 250,000 images so far that we've captured. We work a lot with uh, MacBook Pros. That's our mobile studio, so to speak. This last launch, we had a media wrangler who would take your cards and then download all the uh, images and video content, and then we would catalog them right away. All your gear has been great. Uh, the portable drives have really been a, a big godsend to us uh, when we're actually shooting. Sometimes we're transferring files right on the floor of, you know, like the vertical assembly building. You have no power, you have no way to bring in lots of equipment, so it's basically just plop your hard drive down, review the images, make sure you get what you have, and then transfer it right away. I like that it's uh, ventilated. A lot of the smaller drives aren't, and those are the ones that usually give us the trouble. You know, no ventilation, they overheat, you lose the drive easily. The dual bay hard drive is great, the Maximus. We're using that for the RED, so it just works out that you can drop you know, his files onto that drive and then it just duplicates it right away for him. So there's a backup. We used your SSD drives for filming. We were shooting with some Sony cameras and we were going through uh, downloading direct because we could use a higher bandwidth, you know, instead of the internal cards. It went really well. The footage looks gorgeous. They're, you know, practically maintenance free and you don't have to worry much about them. Not that we go around dropping things, but things happen, stuff like that. I can really see the quality difference using the solid state drives and the video recorders. If you watch just a, a you know a standard output on the big screen, it, I don't think it's such a big deal until you can see almost uncompressed files on the big screen, and you're like, wow. At the studio, then we're using uh, RAIDs with hard drives, the OWC supply. So we have a couple of raids running with Akashi drives. And the cool thing is that it used to be you worried about the form factor because two terabytes, that was like, wow. Now you can put have four, but with the new drives, you get up to six, you know, in one case. That's a lot of content. I find we use the Voyager a lot. I'm based here in the Midwest, but Bob Fisher is in LA and Brendan is in San Francisco. So we do a lot of shipping hard drives back and forth. Part of the thing is to make sure that the content's not all in one location. We'll ship drives out to Bob and he'll have a duplicate set. You know, if something happens to our system, it's still someplace safe. All your products, 
I think our good form factors. All the equipment has held up really well. Uh, we haven't had any issues on any fronts. You know, it's one of the time content and it's not like I can go back and say, hey, we lost our pictures, we need to relaunch the shuttle so we can refilm it. The project hasn't ended. Six or seven terabytes of content that we've already, you know, filled up, not counting what's on the portable drives. So we're glad to have that relationship with you guys.